Hi everyone, James here with the video review of Transformers Prime Voyager Class Thundertron. And so here we have the Mighty Beast. Now, now over the last few years, um, from the end of Beast Machines, we haven't actually gotten many um, beast-like Transformers. Okay, sure, in Robots in Disguise we had the Predacons, there weren't any in Armada, there were the Terracons in Energon, well, maybe Scorpionok. In Transformer Cybertron, we had an entire planet full of Transformer animals. And then, in Transformers um, Animated, we had Black Arachnia and Waspinator. And if you've heard of Transformers Prime Season 3, we are being reintroduced to the Predacons. So... So for that um, family issue came up. Sorry, um, as I was saying, um, in Transformers Prime Season 3, we're being reintroduced to the Predacons. However, this is a little bit of a... Um, a little bit of a... Primary heads up. Well, whatever you want to call it. But, nonetheless, here we have um, Thundertron. This is a great looking lion. I mean... You know, the, we have the nice blue, white, translucent blue, um, orangey gold, bronze. We have a little bit of silver in there as well. I mean, over, and we have gold. Um, I forgot to mention that, I think. But in the end, all the colours in this blend together perfectly. In fact, we even have a little bit of red for the eyes. Now, there are just two issues I, f I feel about um, Thundertron. The first is that his legs um, in the back don't just feel, you know, perfect. Um, you know, you might understand that later. Um, his tail, well, it's just soft plastic. Well, what do you know? You can actually get a bit of... I didn't actually know this until now. You can actually get a bit of movement out of it. Um, then, you see these bits here? These are actually the robot arms. They're actually pegged into the lion's arms and... Um, you can you can still actually move the arm the legs and all, but you can't you know frantically move them forward and back, like in order to get decent movement. So yeah, but now um, the only and again the only unfortunate thing is is that you can't close his jaw, so therefore he has a huge gaping mouth open. So yeah, um, but basically for articulation. Um, his front knees can bend all, just about all the way, just mostly back. Um, his front claws actually fold downward, which is nice. Um, and they pivot about on a ball joint. So yeah. Um, then the legs at the back, you know, they they can move about quite well. You know, the feet pivot. So yeah. Um, and then the tail itself actually moves, um, which isn't something often, I'd say. So yeah. Now, um, just one last thing that I don't like about this figure is, now regardless if you can tell or not, see this little bit here? This is actually his um, crest in robot mode, or his head crest, and then deep down in there you can actually see his head, so he suffers from a bit of, um, um, a bit of exposed head syndrome, I think it's, I think it's called, um, but yeah. Now, just as a bit of a one revealer, um, here we have a sword. Now, surprisingly, um, now this is not the sword extended out in the sort of mech tech or um, polarizer gimmick. If you actually move it so the claws are facing forward, then fold back, a little red light comes on and then the sword fold, folds all the way forward and straight out. That, I think, is very nice. Um, what I also find nice is that just on its own, you can still have the sword pointing outward. Plus, there are some incredibly nice details on this sword, um, and it's translucent. So, or yeah, translucent. So that's a nice touch. Um, again, like all the, or at least most of the Power Riser th customs that I've done, I'm actually going to remove the battery and make it stick, so it therefore looks like it's like this, or it's just going to stay like this. Sorry, should have said it like that. So yeah, um, I'm actually going to get into transformation here just to speed things along. Um, so the first thing you want to do is, 
if you actually check the legs, sorry family, um, if you actually take the legs and rotate them um, 90, 180 degrees round, round like so, in fact you can actually move these panels here up beforehand which makes it easier, um, you can actually, then you fold the legs round, then spin the foot around and fold down the back of the heel for this foot. Then spin this foot around and fold out the heel. Now in this case it's a bit tougher. Ah oh, there we go. That was easier than I thought. So then after doing that you actually need oh forgot about height for this. Sorry my bad. Um now you're actually gonna take this little top bit here and actually disconnect it like so. Now it just folds out that easy and fold these little panels back down and then you can actually push the legs in together like that. So yeah that's the legs done. Now for the arms um, you actually need to disconnect this piece from from here like th like so then fold the actual um, leg arms or um, lion arms or legs and pull them out from here and then fold back like that like that then for the robot arms just fold them out like this fold them out then taking the lion um, legs again just fold them to the back then take the arms fold them down fold these out so they're perfectly straight yeah there we go um, now they're very curve um, carefully designed so therefore you can actually peg a little groove in here into the leg um, of the lion however my fear is that they're so well done that you could fear you could almost think about you almost think it's going to break at a certain point um, but anyway you fold out the arm or the hand then taking a little hole that's in here you can actually see it and a little tab that sits here you actually peg it in there and then fold up this little panel here we're gonna come then taking the claw just spin it round 180 degrees and then fold the claw up like that now we're gonna get back to that in just a second I'm just gonna do the other one now phone sorry um no I've, sorry that phone was driving me crazy anyway um for the rest of the arm just fold forward carefully might I add fold out the hand and then fold up this little panel here then, then again similar to this um leg just you're gonna tab it into the little hole there Um, then fold the little claw around and fold up on it. Then from beneath the jaw, fold up this little panel here and then fold the entire head assembly down. Now this will begin to reveal his head, however what I, what I have preferred to do is take these little panels at the side and fold them to the front. So take them, whoops, Oh darn, come on, come on. Ugh. I'm getting tired. Ah, oh, there we go. Um, now fold them to the front of the head, then fold these little translucent blue parts to the side. Then push the rest of the way down and fold the head up. Push the, uh, push the crest forward. And then for the rest of the arm, just fold the little claws down. Fold the claws down. And we pretty much have Thundertron in his incredibly well designed robot mode.
Now, forgive me, um, the colours aren't working out great right now, um, as in in the camera, but um, now nonetheless, this is a very, very nice figure. Um, you can actually see his beard there, which is a very, very nice little touch. Um, reminds you a lot of Alpha Trion and Sentinel Prime, if you know what I mean. Um, now, the only disadvantage is that the hips always seem to separate again um, for... And, and oh that's oh sorry never mind yeah there we go um so yeah now for articulation um his head can go side to side it can go up and down but only a tiny little bit um again go side to side the arms can, they can go forward and back in and out pivot 360 at the top bend all the way forward and they can bend back but they're so well hitched um ratcheted that I'm afraid of breaking it as I said and then due to the transformation the wrist pivots in and out um, no, or we no waist articulation but the legs can go forward back in and out bend at the knee very well actually then they pivot 360 at the foot and in and out now surprisingly if you actually take um, this foot and just you can actually just disconnect the foot, revealing a peg leg, which is surprising. And hopefully if this works out. He can actually stand on it, which is incredible. And don't, don't get me wrong, that that's well thought of. Now, for the foot you've taken off, you can actually fold in the peg, egg, which was the heel, and then fold these little parts of the foot back, and you can actually tap it into place here. So what else? A little bit of a nice add-on. Then, if we take the sword and peg it into the hole on his arm, like that, you get a very nice warrior-like feel. Now, don't get me wrong, I love the idea of the peg leg, but, I mean, it just doesn't feel right on a, a figure this size and of this, dare I say it, awesomeness. Don't get me, please understand that this is a very, very bulky feeling toy. Um, you know, it's very beefy and, well, nah. And I mean, um... I actually saw a review of this guy from a guy called um, MGO316. Um, you know, awesome guy. Please subscribe to him. He actually said that, you know, he stands up perfectly well on on a peg leg, which is only a thing this size, touching the ground and a giant foot. Better than most figures do with both feet on the ground. Now, while I do accept it does do a lot of good for this toy, I'm still... St superstitious like that however if you're like me you can actually fold hold it to add support to the back of the back of the feet and hopefully yeah that's a lot better there um now I am still going to use this foot at um at the bottom here regardless of what I'm offered because I prefer stability over than you know a peg leg don't get me wrong please however this is an incredibly well detailed figure I mean the claws as shoulder guards or sh or um, shoulder armor are in very very well designed there's a lot of de there's a heap of detail all over this figure I mean we have a nice lime greeny blue Again, we have the white, we have the blue, we have the silver, the gold. Um, with like a bronzy orange. Is that what I said earlier? I hope it is. But yeah, um, faults and all, this is still a great figure. Actually, do I recommend picking him up? Oh yeah. Do I recommend? Do I recommend customizing him? Eh, maybe.
If you want the likes of a customized Leo Prime, then this guy is more or less for you. And do you want to get this guy simply because you want something other than the Beast Hunters this year? Well, not for that bit though. <laughs> um, sorry. Um, but do I recommend this guy over most of the Beast Hunters toys coming out this year? Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Yes! I won't, I seriously won't lie. The Beast Hunters toys coming out this year do not look all that great. Most of them, anyway, most of them. Bumblebee, Wheeljack, and Smokescreen. They are the three best looking ones, in my opinion, particularly Smokescreen. Bumblebee looks good, you know. Wheeljack looks pretty good as well. Predaking, yeah, I may consider him. Optimus just looks weird. Um, well, mostly okay, but he just looks odd. Laserback, Ooh, weird. Um, Soundwave, what the heck? What the heck? Th that's all I can say, but that's for another time. Basically, here's Thundertron. Do I recommend him? Yes. Is he a good figure? Yes. And that is my review complete. <laughs> Sorry, I'm tired. Um, so, this is Night Slash 2020 Junior saying, subscribe to my channel for videos and more. Like me on Facebook by searching for Night Slash 2020 Junior. Have a nice day, see you all around. Until next time, remember, this, this is Thundertron. You mess with him, you mess with my giant sword. Remember it, fleshlings. Oh, oh, and for the record, um, he actually has a little um, logo right here. I have no idea what that is, but it looks part Autobot, part Decepticon, part Beast. So basically, I think the story of this toy is that he is aligned with the is aligned with not the Autobots nor the Decepticons. He's a solo act, and basically, you know, expect him to be on either side soon. But on but until next time, thanks for watching, everybody, and stay tuned. Remember, the sword will get you. Sorry, I'm a bad voice actor. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>